one thought that you have for our listeners that they can just hold on to and nourish their faith this week? Take a moment and um, meditate on verses like offer up your body as a living sacrifice. You know, there, there are verses that say, you know, it, you cannot hold on to the, the stereotype of spirit good, body bad, and then say, offer up your body as a living sacrifice. Or wh why would God want your body? <laughs> you know, you it, it, meditate on verses like that because that will help you to realize that God cares about your body. I was asked in a recent interview, <laughs> I was asking a recent interview in India, by the way, this was an mm. uh, interview, a podcast from India, which was fascinating. And the podcast host asked Sam Harris, you know, Sam Harris, the yeah. well-known atheist, Sam Harris says, why do you think, you know, why should Christians think that the God of the universe cares what they do, what people do in their bedroom? You know, doesn't he have better things to do? you know the almighty eternal god of the universe why should he care and i just smiled and said i'm so glad he cares god cares about every detail of my life god cares mm. about my you know all the details of my physical body and what i do with my body i said this is not a negative this is a positive <laughs> that mm. christians say what christians say that god cares about what you do with your body in fact, it shows that Sam Harris doesn't care that his worldview, his secular materialist worldview, does not give him grounds for caring about what we do with our body. It actually it shows that he does not have a worldview sufficient to give dignity and value and significance to what we do with our bodies. So um, again, that shows up that, that the Christian view is much more positive than any secular view. And I'll end with a final story that also came out after Love Thy Body, so it's, it's, it's not in there. Um, there was a woman who passed as a male for 10 years. Um, she transitioned to male and successfully passed as a man for 10 years. And um, then she started visiting a Bible study and became a Christian. But she thought she could still live as a man, you know. She she still thought that would that was fine, and and the the irony is here's how she put it. She said, "I aspired to be a real man of God." <laughs> and and then one day when she was praying, she seemed to hear God say to her, "You cannot love me, and yet reject my creation." And she knew what that meant. She knew it meant you can't reject your body. Your, my, your body is part of my creation. You're rejecting your female body you know, and living as a man. You cannot claim to love me. Is that how I said it? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, okay. You cannot claim to love me and yet reject my creation. So I, I love that as a final, a final word is that, you know, may, may God give us the grace not only to love him, but also to love his creation.